Hey, this is Kevin David Rail from Fasting for Fitness. And today I'm going to address a problem and I'm gonna give you a solution to that problem. So first of all, make sure to like and share this video and please subscribe to my page. Now, let's talk about the issue. I don't have enough space, I don't have enough time, I wanna get a high intensity workout and I don't like impact. Wow, you got a lot of problems, right? Well, let's come up with some solutions. As you can see, I've got about, I don't know, eight by eight amount of space in front of me here. When you're doing home workouts, the key is you wanna to try to incorporate as many muscle groups as you possibly can in your workouts. So you can do this a number of ways. You can do push-ups, you can do squats, you can do lunges, you can do planks, you can do crunches, you can do all those basic exercises. But they can still be time consuming as well. What I like to do is three-dimensional movements and complex movements combined together where you're doing multiple movements with your body parts all at the same time with every exercise. This is gonna maximize the amount of muscle you're gonna build in your workouts, you're gonna build lean muscle mass, and it's gonna maximize your caloric expenditure too if you're not one of those people that like to go outside and run for miles at a time when you're doing cardio. So, you can do 20 to 30 minute workouts in a short amount of time if you incorporate movement patterns that involved multiple parts of the body moving at once. So, for example, let me just give you one. I think I'll face uh, this direction. We can do a drop lunge. So we'll step back at an angle like this. Step back at an angle like this. We're just moved. One, two, we got three joints being worked at the same time. Ankle, knee, hip, okay? Then we can step back to here. We can squat down, now we just did a squat. We can put our hands down and we can step back. Now we can do a beautiful graceful push up. And then when we come up, we can lift our hips up in the air like this and we kick one leg in the air and we kick another leg in the air. Then we can step, step, stand and repeat the whole sequence. So it's a drop lunge here, drop lunge here, squat down, Step back, lift up, lift up, and then step, step, come up. My heart rate is up right now. I did two sets, two reps actually, all the way through. That is one example. You just need to get creative with your workouts and put an assembly line of five to six movement patterns together and just repeat those movement patterns. Take short rest breaks in between and you're off to the races. Then all of a sudden, you have a beautiful, graceful workout that you can take with you anytime you're traveling down the road, whether it's for work, or if it's for a holiday or a vacation or you're going to visit your, your Aunt Mildred, it doesn't matter. You always got something to do. I'm still huffing and puffing and I do two of those. So I always think in terms of how can I do exercises that maximize my movement capacity so I'm doing a lot of movements with my limbs. How can I maximize the amount of muscle I'm recruiting and get my heart rate up all at the same time without having to resort to any kind of impact? Because if you have any issues with your back or your knees or anything like that and impact is against the grain, then you can do stuff like this. Not to mention these type of drills really open up your shoulders like this and they help improve your posture and they help your balance and they help your flexibility. So you have all those things being rolled into one, into one graceful movement pattern and in one workout. So you got all those benefits to work with and then your problems are solved. And you don't need a lot of space and you don't need a lot of height of a ceiling as well. So that takes away all those excuses. So stop making excuses, get out there and start moving. Till next time, this is Kevin David Rail. Make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my page.